So we're the one, I thought, was a, I thought it was a wind up at first. Uh, my manager at Morris informed me, he asked me if I wanted to fight Eric Mraz. They'd been in contact with him. What was the answer was I. He was a fighter's fighter, and he's just, uh, all the fights have been in, he's an exciting fighter. And just love to watch him, so he's one of my kind of favourite fighters. You know, I've got to share my ring with him, so it's, that's a, it's a close dream come true. It's hard to offer six rounders, I mean, I like, I like to be fighting for titles and fights like this against guys that's proven at that level, so to be told you're fighting six and eight rounders, it's, I'm doing it for 11 years now, so, I mean, I see that as the kind of way back down, but, look, for this fight, ah, it's been, I've been doing it for 10 weeks hard now, so, it's good. Well, I see pressure on him, he's, it's his hometown, he's a big day. So I've just got to go there and perform to the best I can do and hope for that will be good enough. But nah, I'm not worried that it's in Mexico. Be good. No pressure on me, just got to go and perform. Win this, then it'll always bring your blows in, but I concentrate on this fight only. So my main priority is go in here and win this. We want it to win, we want it to keep winning, to keep it going. If we don't, then we're back to fighting in smaller shows. So Ricky, I you know Ricky's got a big, massive fight as well on Saturday. Same with John Simpson. Uh, Arthur's making his comeback, Paul Arthur's making his. You've got Barry Morrison fighting for European title, obviously my fight in Mexico. So, it's something good to know about, we need to keep winning to keep it going to move on to the next level.